came into an Uber. It's gonna take an hour and 11 minutes to get to our hotel at Place Vendôme. So let's hope that the sceneries are magnificent. It's a beautiful day in Paris. This is Jardin de Tuileries and we are early morning at 11 and 15 walking around and it is one of the most magnificent days out. Look at how beautifully the trees have turned. How beautiful. So gorgeous. I love it. How beautiful the gardens are. Flowers are just go so well together. We're gonna go sit at the fountain and just relax a little bit. So beautiful. These two perfect chairs. Those are all the balcony hotels and apartments here in Paris. So from Jardin de Tillery, we're walking over to the Louvre, which is this beautiful building and as the French say, c'est magnifique. So we're heading into the Louvre and we're very lucky that there's not a lot of tourists here so it's not busy at all. We had nobody in line. We literally just walked right in and the tickets are 15 euros and it's beautiful and everything's about the Mona Lisa apparently. So let's go see if we can check it out. or as they say just the fifth and straight ahead is the mosque that we're visiting today it is Masjid of Paris or Mosque de Paris and it is right on Rue de la Clef and Rue du Pont de la Mie. my French sucks by the way <laughs> but I'm having fun just practicing it heading to the mosque and it is just a fabulous Saturday afternoon really sunny skies and super excited there's Leila it's actually on Rue Georges de Paris and this mosque was instrumental in Islam's rise in France it takes up this entire block and right across the street from the mosque there's an Islamic library or bibliothèque. So we are here inside of the mosque and it's just so beautiful. The doors. So beautiful. But the artwork here is just so fabulous. You want mine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
the salon. And it's just a beautiful mosque. So this is the beautiful gardens of the courtyard of this mosque in Paris. And look at how brilliant. <laughs> We're in Paris, not in Dubai. <laughs> We are over by um, Place de Vendôme and it's all high-end shopping so we're just going to walk the stores and check them out and give you a view of exactly where we are. Our hotel is right through that street, that's Rue saint honore and this is Place Vendôme. That's the Louis Vuitton store over there and that is the famous Place de Vendôme circle. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick little tour and check out the place. The architecture here is just unbelievable. There's the Chanel store. We're hoping to go check that out. Look at these gorgeous doors, how beautiful they are. Look how gorgeous these streets are. Oh, I just love to walk on these streets. So this is the traffic in Paris on a Friday at 3.30 in the afternoon. Just to give you an example, it is actually, I guess this is busy, I don't know, maybe it's not that busy. Just to show you how beautiful these streets are, we're back on Rue saint Honor, which is where our hotel is, and everything is smack in the center of it. I mean, you just walk out the door and you're in shopping heaven or food heaven. It's like one cafe after the next and I'll show you that also. But there's definitely a lot going on in Paris. So if you plan to come visit, I highly recommend it. It is a beautiful, beautiful trip that we're having and lots of shopping, that's for sure. This is the end of Rue Royale we've come to, to this amazing traffic circle. And um, it is incredibly busy, but well, how breathtaking are the views? There's a beautiful monument there, and we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to that, but we're gonna do that later tonight because we wanna go see the Eiffel Tower right before the sun sets so that we can see the twinkling lights. How beautiful is that? Lots of people on bikes and scooters. And like I said, Paris traffic is no joke. Downstairs to take the metro so that we can go to uh, Sacre Coeur. This is our first train ride and we were gonna take an Uber, but we would just wanna experience their train system and hope that we know where we're going. <laughs> Here are the trains. We have to just go grab our tickets. Okay, so we got our tickets and our ticket goes in here. And we have to save our tickets. It comes back up here. Got it? Okay. 12. 
So this is no joke. It literally reminds me of New York City traveling in the subways. 42nd Street, yeah, literally that's where I feel like I've transferred myself back into. But I love it. Seven stops to Abbas, yeah. which is uh, Montmartre. Okay, thanks to um, Google Maps also, it's guiding us, and this Missy over here is guiding me as well. <laughs> yeah, these two guys are on separate sides of the platforms going in opposite directions, but they're having a legit conversation. So we've arrived in Montmartre and it is so beautiful here. I love these streets. I can walk these streets all day. They're so fantastic or fantastic as the French say and you can walk up those hills. Look at how beautiful that is. These apartments, gorgeous. So we're gonna go to Vrai Paris Montmartre which is a beautiful outside cafe and we're gonna have our first meal of the day. It is almost five o'clock <laughs> and we haven't ate all day. Not because we were hungry, but we just were so fascinated with everything else. And yeah, how beautiful. We, oui, you can go walk. So beautiful. So I asked my waiter to change my straw. I am so sorry. Merci. Bye bye. <laughs> now you have a proof. <laughs> oh no. Thanks. <laughs> So we are walking to Sacre Coeur after our wonderful lunch and these are the steps that we have to walk up but look at how beautiful the streets are. They have cafes all over the place lining the streets and it seems that now is the time that people start to uh, come out. Yeah. Up the stairs we go. Look at that view. <laughs> Beautiful view. And I know Sakakar is the highest point in Walmart. So we continue to uh, go uphill again. <laughs> you gotta really be in decent shape to be able to do this trick. <laughs> so they have Nutella crepes in here. How yummy. Very cool. And these streets are so narrow, but taxis come through. So that is the way to Sacre Coeur. We finally made it to the top. It's a lot of walking. They're like... And so there's cafes all over and everybody's out to eat. Really nice. And there's also a lot of art being done on the streets. People are capturing artwork of you, caricatures, or just, you know, anything that you want to buy here. And of course, all the sidewalks are lined with cafes. And if you peek over to there is the famous Sacre Coeur. We're going to go all the way to the top and hopefully go inside. Restaurants, and right there is Sacre Coeur, which we're gonna go through. This is the back, and we came through 
this side just so we can check out Montmartre a little bit more, but we are going to go into the front as well and get you a better view of Sacre-Cœur or Sacred Heart. Beautiful. gives me like the chills knowing the history of it but this place was built to represent the sacred heart of Jesus that's why it's called Sacre Coeur which means the sacred heart and the view it's the highest point in Montmartre and so the view is supposed to be a magnificent view and I'm gonna get us there Beautiful Sacre Coeur. So we stopped in front of this store because of the music. Listen. Look at the Eiffel Tower. Here. and that is the view of the Eiffel Tower. How gorgeous, so we're gonna walk closer to that. Sun is sunny. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> so he's making us some Nutella crepes. And you're, Paris, you're born in Paris? Yes, oh, okay. I'm born in Paris. Oh. Oh. What is your, where are your parents from? They're from uh, Algeria. Oh, okay. Yes. And where are you from? For, we are from New York. Okay. But originally we are from South America, from Guyana. Oh, uh, okay. You ever heard of Guyana? Uh, I heard about the, in French is Guyana. Well, there's French Guyana. Yes. We're from British Guyana. Okay. So, but it's um, close? Yes, yes. They're right next to each other. Okay. 
But uh, your origin is Guyana or, well, or another we, one? We country were we Muslim? were we're born in Guyana. She's okay. my daughter is born in New York, okay. and our parents born in Guyana, and our grandparents born in Guyana. But our okay. great great grandparents yes. from Middle East and India both. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I will told you maybe India because. Uh, no. No, <laughs> no, Guyana. But the grand, 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 grandparents. Oh, me also from India. <laughs> Calcutta. We're from South America. South America. Okay. Yeah. This is not the the same weather, I think. It's tropical. One month. But uh, this one is very hard to okay. to understand. Okay, merci beaucoup. Merci au revoir. <laughs> okay, so that was interesting at the uh, stand. So now we're here at the COVID pass sanitaire and we just did our COVID test to go back to the US. So, hello, Hi. we're back. Everything good? Hi. Thank you. It was both negative, right? Uh, Do you know? I think uh, one of you is one of us finish. Yes. Yeah. What? Serious? Me. Oh my God. A stuck for a lot. Layla. Oh, Alhamdulillah. You can go. I sent you a mail. It's an email? Yes, it's arrived in two minutes. Okay, thank you so much. No oh my god, he actually scared me. <laughs> so we just did our COVID test um, to go back to the States, and when I went up, the guy, he's from Algiers, I think, and he was clearly joking when he said one of you was positive because thank god we're not so we got the all clear to go back to the united states and um in a couple of days we'll be heading back but in the meanwhile we're gonna go enjoy the eiffel tower trying to get her in the back and she keeps hiding <laughs> So I'm literally walking underneath the Eiffel Tower right now. Look at that. This is literally standing right underneath the center of the Eiffel Tower. It goes all the way up. Look at that. The Eiffel Tower all lit up at night. I'm so close to it, I can literally touch it. Hey, I can touch it. Yeah, it's so gorgeous and um, we're just waiting every hour on the hour is when it starts to sparkle. So we're just waiting for the sparkles to happen and hopefully you can enjoy the sparkles with me. So, look at that, awesome. Woo, look at that. Look how beautiful. Everybody's just sitting in the park waiting for this to happen. It's just so beautiful and the weather couldn't have been more perfect to be able to experience this gorgeous night at the Eiffel Tower. So we are across the street from the Eiffel Tower and we are now here sitting by the famous Seine River right at our footsteps literally so we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit and we're contemplating doing a nighttime boat cruise of Paris at night but um, we've seen so much of it at night already that I don't know that we need to do that but that's next the boat right there it's pretty nice but it kind of looks a little too slow for me so
we're walking over the Seine River. Look at how beautiful this place is. Paris at night. It's beautiful. And of course, the beautiful Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> 